pelvis so you will receive all the viscera studied in abdomen like liver stomach kidney spleen both the kidneys can come right and left and the pelvis pelvic viscera okay so see first you should know the difference between male and female pelvis so see over here see this pelvis so this is a mid sagittal section here you can appreciate this is the anterior wall okay this much is pubic symphysis and this is the posterior wall formed by the sacral curvature okay so you find one thing the anterior wall is more shorter than the posterior wall uh, that is why in case of the pelvic viscera usually the anterior wall is shorter than the posterior wall and what you observe in this pelvis see just behind pubic symphysis this thing that you see that is tired also urinary bladder okay this may be tired this is a urinary bladder and following that this is the urethra so this is urinary bladder this is urinary bladder this is urethra what you get in front of sacral curvature this is rectum followed by anal canal okay so if you find these two things you can be sure that it is male pelvis what you find in female pelvis see like this is a female pelvis again this is the pubic symphysis in front this is sacrum behind that is broken so just behind pubic symphysis this thing this stone structure is your urinary bladder followed by urethra and this is the uterus followed by the vagina and then in front of the sacrum you get this thing is your rectum followed by anal canal okay so this is a female pelvis so no difference between male and female pelvis you can also appreciate the same thing here so it is more clear here so this is pubic symphysis this is sacrum behind pubic symphysis this is urinary bladder followed by urethra in front of sacrum this is rectum followed by anal canal in between the two this is uterus followed by the vagina okay uh, interestingly many people they can't identify the male and female pelvis in the exam okay so don't, don't fall for that now see if they tie the urinary bladder what they usually ask is the artery supply okay or the nerve supply like that what are the arteries of the urinary bladder supravesical artery infravesical artery that is replacement vagin artery in the female then there is obturator artery like that and in females or the uterine artery supplies part of the urinary bladder and the nerves of the urinary bladder can be sympathetic or parasympathetic sympathetic some books cite t10 to l1 some books cite t11 to l2 okay both are correct then the pelvic planting nerves give the parasympathetic supply so what what another thing see this urinary bladder can be window question and sometimes they ask you what are the parts of the urinary bladder in the window question see this portion that is looking towards the umbilicus is the apex this is the apex of the urinary bladder that i'm holding and usually base is opposite to apex so this is the base okay and see this is the lowest point of the urinary bladder from which urethra begins so this is neck what is neck neck is the lowest point of the urinary bladder from which the urethra begins and mark this thing over here see this structure that i'm holding this tubular structure this is ureter okay and as you can see the ureter is opening into the base of the urinary bladder see the ureter this tube like structure which i'm holding with my left hand is opening into the base of the urinary bladder okay so this is the ureter they may sometimes try the urinary ureter they ask the length that is 10 inches or the parts one is pelvis of ureter for the abdominal part then pelvic part then they are square at the constriction one constriction is the junction of the pelvis of the ureter and the abdominal part second one where it crosses the pelvic rim third one where it enters the urinary bladder okay these things are the usual side question if they tie the ureter sometimes instead of tying the ureter here they can tie it in the kidney so it is hanging from the hilum of the kidney okay now see another thing uh let us uh, see this is the uh, apex and this is the base so this upper surface is the superior surface and see where i am inserting the forceps that is the inferolateral surface of the urinary bladder so this is inferior surface and lateral surface taken together okay and these are the surfaces then what are the borders if you join the apex with the neck you get the anterior border or inferior border join the apex with the neck if you join the apex with the opening of the ureter it is lateral border and if you join the two side ureteric opening it is posterior border nowadays books like bisram singh don't give this borders but it is given in dabta and older teachers who are examiners in the first probe may ask about the borders so these are the parts of the urinary bladder the rest to study okay for the spotting side question and urinary bladder can be tied see this is a male pelvis and at the neck of the urinary bladder the triangular structure is prostate okay if they try the prostate they ask what are the anatomical lobes one median two lateral or what are the surgical lobes one median two lateral one anterior one posterior all together five or which part is affected by bhp remember the transitional zone 
okay it is transitional zone and the peripheral zone is affected by cancer so that can be a spotting site question which part of prostate is affected by bhp and which part is affected by the cancer okay so this is all you are going to get uh, regarding the urinary bladder and prostate in the spotting then see over here see in front of the sacral curvature this is rectum that ends in the anal canal okay they can tie the rectum they ask with length 5 inches what are the how many arteries are five super rectal two middle one super rectal two middle rectal two inferior rectal super rectal branch of inferior mesenteric artery middle rectal branch of internal iliac uh, and uh, inferior rectal branch of internal pudendal the answer also five one super rectal two middle rectal and two inferior rectal so the inferior rectal vein to internal pudendal that is why this rectum is called the organ of five because of the length and five arteries five veins if they tie the rectum they mark the length or the name of the artery or vein okay then in the male pelvis what else can be tied is this see it was tied in one of those specimens ah uh, see see to what they have tied here this muscle is swas major very common tie structure for muscles for the spotting you need to read four things origin insertion not supply action so read that okay now what else can be tied here this artery okay see this what i am holding with my left hand is the common iliac artery that gives rise to the external iliac artery that the direction of which towards the lower limb and the branch of common iliac this one that goes into the pelvis is the internal iliac artery they can tie any of the three arteries and the side question is names of branches if they tie the common iliac branches are external iliac internal iliac if they tie the external iliac there are only two branches deep circumflex iliac and inferior epigastric but if they tie the internal iliac they may ask branches of anterior division or branches of posterior division for the anterior division is name only to remember the branches see if sib obtained marks in pg sb supravesical artery ib infravesical artery then obtained of pratter marks middle rectal in pg inp internal pudendal ing inferior gluteus okay apart from that usually in case of females infravesical artery get referred to vaginal artery and there is an additional artery that is called uterine artery some books also mention that the obliterated umbilical artery is a branch of the anterior division of inferior iliac now what is the branch of posterior division you study in ims member ils ilio lumbar lateral sacral superior gluteal okay so yeah, they may either get the common iliac artery or the external iliac and the internal iliac and side question is what are the branches and see in internal iliac what they are asking branch of anterior division or branch of posterior division and answer accordingly okay now in the male pelvis what can come as the uh, window is either this urinary bladder or the common iliac artery or its two branches can also come as window and sometimes rectum is an occasional window okay so this is the male pelvis now we find some additional structures in the female pelvis so see over here this is the uterus they may often tie it if they tie the uterus they usually ask the parts that is fundus body cervix or what the dimension one is 2 is 3 inch one is thickness 2 inch width 3 inch length or they may ask in the uterus what are the layers in the wall endometrium myometrium perimetrium or they may ask where implantation occurs in the uterus in the posterior wall of the fundus or the artery supply see it is supplied by both uterine artery and uterine artery uterine artery branch of internal iliac anterior division uterine artery branch from abdominal outer okay this is what they usually ask if they tie the uterus now another thing you see here that can also be tied mark what i am showing see i am showing a coiled tubular structure having fimbria tunnel like ending okay see i am holding a tubular structure that is coiled having funnel like ending okay the ending has got fimbria finger like processes this is fallopian tube fallopian tube can be tied fallopian tube can be tied if you tie the fallopian tube they ask the length 10 cm or what are the parts one is intramural part then the constriction isthmus then the dilatation ampulla then the infundibulum having the fimbria and if you remember in this sequence you can also tell the length remember 1 3 5 1 1 cm for the intramural part 3 cm for the isthmus 5 cm for the ampulla and rest 1 cm for the infundibulum okay they may ask its two ostia one is abdominal ostium that opens to abdomen one is uterine ostium or opening that opens into the uterus or uh, artery supply both uterine artery and uterine artery supply the fallopian tube so remember both uterine artery and uterine artery supply both uterus and fallopian tube okay this these are common side questions another thing that you can mark here i will show on this side and on that side see over here acha let me see the specimen in detail see in this specimen you can find this is the fimbriated fallopian tube okay i think everyone can see that 
Now nearby that, this fattened organ, okay, see this one. This is the ovary, see. This organ is the ovary. This is the ovary. And you can find in the ovary, there are, see, two ends. This end is towards the tube, towards the fallopian tube, okay. So, you can find here, this end is towards the fallopian tube. So, this is called the tubal end. And this end, this one, it's towards the uterus. So, it's called the uterine end. Okay, so see here, over here. See, this is the fallopian tube. Okay, you can find over here. This thing is the fallopian tube with the finger ending. And you can find the two ends of the ovary. The end towards the fallopian tube, this is called the tubal end. And the end towards the uterus is called uterine end. Okay, now you can find that in the ovary, one border is attached. Uh, that is called anterior border, that is A for A, anterior border attached, and this free border is posterior border. And the surface towards the uh, uterus is medial surface, and the surface towards pelvic wall is lateral surface. So see over here, you can find an attached border here in the ovary. See over here, you can find an attached border over here, that is the anterior border, and this free border is posterior border. And the surface of ovary towards uterus is medial surface, the surface towards pelvic wall is lateral surface. So what are the parts of ovary? That is a tubal end, there is a uterine end, there is a medial surface, there is a lateral surface. There are two borders, anterior border, attached border and free border or posterior border. Now mark one thing over here. See, this is the fallopian tube. See, between the, mark here, between the uterine end of the ovary and the uterus, mark this. This ligament is called the ligament of ovary. That is attached between the lateral angle of uterus and the uterine end of ovary. So this is the this thing that I'm holding with the forceps, the ligament of ovary. That ligament of ovary that is attached between the lateral end of uterus or lateral corner of uterus and this uh, uterine end of ovary. Okay. So this is the ligament of ovary. Okay. Now let us now see in this specimen. You can find the same thing here. I will again show on that side. Don't worry. So see what you can find here. Uh, this is the fallopian tube. Okay. And over here, this thing is your ovary, this oblong mass. So this is the ligament of ovary. Okay, this is the ligament of ovary. In front of that, you get the fallopian tube. And in front of that, this thickening is the round ligament of uterus. Okay, so three things. At the very back, that is ligament of ovary. Then there is fallopian tube in the middle. In front of fallopian tube, you get the round ligament of uterus. Okay, so see over here. See, this, this thing is your fallopian tube. That is in the middle. Okay. Then at the back of it, this short structure ligament of ovary that attaches the uterus to ovary. And in front of the fallopian tube, this thickening is the round ligament of the uterus. Okay. So see, this is just like this. The three fingers, middle structure with the fallopian tube. Behind that, there is ligament of ovary. And in front of the fallopian tube, you get round ligament of the uterus. Okay. So the purpose of telling this all is that these are the contents of the broad ligament. What is broad ligament? See what I am holding with my finger. Okay. This is the curtain like structure that is attaching the lateral border of uterus to the pelvic wall. Okay. This is broad ligament. They may tie the broad ligament, this curtain like structure. Okay. And ask what is the content. The content is this three. Okay. Fallopian tube, round ligament uterus, and there is ligament ovary. And apart from that, uterine artery and ovarian artery are also contents of the broad ligament. So these five contents you can write in this fourteen if they tie the broad ligament. Okay. So over here, uh, now I have told you almost everything. So what they can tie? They can tie either the uterus or the fallopian tube. They can tie or they can tie the broad ligament. Sometimes they tie the round ligament, but if they tie that, getting a side question is difficult. Okay. So what they are going to ask is up to the examiners. So in the female pelvis, obviously here they can tie the artery, common external internal iliac, or they can tie the urinary bladder, or they can tie the swas major. See, they have already tied the swas major here. Okay. They have tied the swas major here. Or else they can tie the uterus or the fallopian tube and sometimes round ligament of uterus. And what is window here? Apart from urinary bladder, in the female pelvis, they can tie the uterus or the fallopian tube. Uterus and fallopian tube can be full window questions. So read everything about them. And while reading, the abdominal pelvic viscera always read the source of development. That can be asked in your, uh, in, in your spotting itself. Just put the kidney, identify the viscera, tell its site and tell its source of development. So always read the source of development as a probable spotting site question in the spotting for abdominal pelvis. So this much you need to know and rest to revise that uh, stomach, then kidney, then uh, spleen and liver. Okay. Sir, so, so can you please explain that? Uh, so please, please wait. Right question. Right question. But that he was first, what? Huh? Huh? 
Can you please explain that? Panthea are not likely to come in the uh, spotting, but if that they come, then see, identification is very easy. They either try the Panthea or the duodenum. Rest you have to read the common question, like what are the parts, what are the length of duodenum, or what are the parts, of, what are the length of the different parts, what are the artery supplying, where it develops from, the Panthea, what are the parts, okay. Or, what are the ducts called? Where are the ducts open? Or what are the arteries of the pancreas? What is the arteria of magna? See, the thing is, if they are asking uh, this thing, duodenum uh, and pancreas in the window, that is almost not very intelligent because it, even if a teacher is very good and he has not read for the last 10 15 days duodenum and pancreas, he can never tell the relation. So, if you take out relations from duodenum and pancreas, rest is common, I mean not very difficult, what is the artery, what are the parts, what is the length, or they may ask uh, what is the development of pancreatic, dorsal pancreatic part, ventral pancreatic part, which part is from dorsal part, which part of ventral like that. But the relations, the teacher will only ask either if she is prepared for that or else he or she knows that you don't know the relation, whatever you tell, if the, the, the teacher doesn't pass comment or passes comment according to his or will, nobody will really notice. Okay, thing is like that. These relations of all the organs and viscera of the abdomen and pelvis, nobody remembers. Particularly duodenum, pancreas, these things though, nobody remembers. Okay, so when the teacher come, goes to the class, it is this, they are prepared. When you go to the exam, you face the long question, you are also prepared. Yes, sir, test is... Uh, test is done. Test is and the external genitalia, they are not asked. Okay, in the spotting, in the spotting, they are not asked. So what is asked in the spotting? Those four things, stomach, liver, and then there is your kidney, spleen, and the viscera you see here in the pelvis. Okay. So, it's just like what is it? 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 The patient slides came in the exam, you must prepare for it. And if you are not prepared, just need two features of each slide. Nobody is going to ask more than that. Okay. Now, in the bones, they can either go for the sacrum or the lumbar vertebra. Lumbar means typical atypical. Tell it whether it's typical atypical lumbar vertebra, what are the features for it. In the sacrum, the, these attachments or the relations can be asked. Like what passes sacral hiatus? Okay, or what is the uh, relation of Allah of Sakram? Or what is attached? So, what is the attachment of pyriformis? Like that. Attachment of viliacus. These things can be asked. Basic things. Hip bone, hip bone, hip bone is for low limb. Hip bone is not for abdomen pelvis. Okay. Sir, what is the side of the round ligament of the uterus? See, they can uh, ask at best what it passes to, what happens. The round ligament of the uterus starts here at the lateral angle of the uterus. Then goes to the lateral pelvic wall, then passes in the inguinal canal, comes out and gets inserted into the labium majus. Okay. So, out of this part, they can ask uh, the side question is maybe in which canal it passes, where, where it gets attached. Apart from that, that is why they don't eat, commonly tie the rowling and uterus because getting a side question is difficult. Okay. Huh. Okay, so those who have not seen can come forward. So, in the deep circumflex area and in pre if they tried the internal ilia, the branches are, are as for the division, from the anterior division to posterior division. For anterior division, there is a mnemonic, that is SIV, SIV, obtained marks in PG. Okay. SB, supravesical. IB, improvesical. Vesical means urinal bladder. Okay. Then obtained, operator. Then marks, middle rectal. In PG, INP, internal pudendal, ING, infraguteal. Okay. See what happens in females, the infravesical artery replaced by vaginal artery. And in addition, there is uterine artery. So, this is the whole list of the branches from the hmm, anterior division of internal area. And uh, you can add obliterated umbilical artery to it, but if you don't tell it, it kind of okay. Then, what are the branches of posterior division? See, you study in IMS, remember ILS, iliolumbar, then that lateral sacral, supraglutea. Okay, so see in this structure, if you find, see this is the common iliac artery, this is external iliac, this is your internal iliac. See, form it, see that's a tearing here, that was that represents the posterior division, but this is the anterior division. So, they usually don't tie the division, they either tie the common iliac artery, or the external iliac artery, or the internal iliac artery. But look clearly, if they have tied the divisions right, right accordingly, okay. So, this is where they can tie in the yeah, the division is here posterior. Ah, you took cardiac answer. The posterior division. Okay. Yeah, but by somehow it has 
बिकम कट एंड दे यूजली डोंट टाइप द भेन बट द भेन इज कॉमन इन लेग एक्सटर्नल लेग इंटरनल लेग सी द आर्टरियर भेन दैट गोज इनटू द पेल्विस इज इंटरनल लेग एंड द आर्टरियर भेन दैट हैज अ डायरेक्शन गोइंग टू अस लोअर लिम इज एक्सटर्नल लेग ओके एंड सो व्हाट दे कैन टाइ हियर यूरिनरी ब्लैडर कॉमन इन लेग और एक्सटर्नल लेग इंटरनल लेग आर्टरी स्वास मेजर मसल सी द स्वास मेजर मसल हियर दैट इज फ्रैगमेंटेड और दे कैन टाइ द दे हैव द कॉमन टाइम्स अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट दे कैन टाइ द यूरिनेटर और द रेक्टम ओके they can tie either the ureter and the erector okay now what they can tie in the female pelvis see uh, see this see the difference over here see the difference between male and female pelvis again because unfortunately people in the exam get confused between male and female pelvis okay so see again this is the anterior wall that is uh, shorter formed by the pubic symphysis the posterior wall formed by the sacrum that is broken here in the middle the, and just behind the pubic symphysis this is the urinary bladder followed by the urethra and just in front of the rectum sorry in front of sacrum this is rectum for the anal canal in between you find the uterus for the vagina so this is a female pelvis that one is a male pelvis is the colon or no that is loops of colon which are uh, lobes of the lighter which are come across as for the section okay but uh, this is definitely rectum for by the anal canal okay see this see this is the rectum for the anal canal okay now see over here what they can tie they can tie the urinary bladder or the rectum and See over here. This is the uterus. Uterus can be tied. Okay. And some standard side question is there. Like what are the parts of the uterus? Fundus, body, cervix. What are the layers in wall of uterus? Endometrium, myometrium, perimetrium. Or what is the dimension of uterus? Interestingly, this one is two inch three inch. One is thickness, two inch width, three inch length. Okay. Or they can ask what is the arteries of the uterus? Two arteries supply the uterus, uterine artery, ovarian artery. Uterine artery branch from anterior diffusion of internal iliac. Ovarian artery direct branch from abdominal outlet. Any gonadal artery you take, testicular ovarian, that is direct branch from the abdominal outlet. Okay. Now apart from that, what they can else tie? See, you can find the tubular structure. Mark the tube, coiled one, having a funnel-like ending. This is fallopian tube. You can see. This is the fallopian tube. See, see it clearly. This is the tubular structure that is coiled, and this is the funnel-like ending. Okay, where you can find the fimbria, the finger-like projections. So this is fallopian tube. If they tie the fallopian tube, they ask what is the length? Length is 10 centimeters. Or what are the parts? See, first part is within the wall of uterus, that is called intramural part. Next part is isthmus, that is a constriction. Next ampulla, where fertilization takes place, and next one is your infundibulum, having the fimbria. And apart from that, there is one pelvic ostium or abdominal ostium that opens into abdominal pelvic cavity, and one uterine ostium that opens to the uterus. Okay. So see, you can remember the length of the parts if you remember this thickness, one three five one. What is the first part? Internal part that is one centimeter. Then it's much three centimeters. Now ampulla five centimeters, infundibulo rest one centimeter. Okay. Out of ten. Now another thing they may ask here. Uh, when they ask any abdominal or pelvic viscera, the source of development that can be asked is for them. They may simply put the kidney and ask uh, uh, this. Uh, that the side question name the source of development. They can put the spleen. They can put the liver like that. So always uh, at least read the name of source of development for the spotting. Likewise, they can ask where from the uterus or fallopian tube develops. It is from the Mullerian and duct or the paramagnetic duct. That much if you write the spotting, you can get full mark. Okay, there is no right to write vertical part like that. Only write paramagnetic from Mullerian and duct. Most teachers give you mark. And if you try to write more, then there is no time for that. Okay. Then, acha. But else, they can ask here as even spotting side question. If the fallopian tube is tied, where the fertilization occurs in the ampulla, or where if they tie the uterus, where the implantation occurs in the posterior wall of the fundus. Okay, that you remember. Okay, that that can be also asked in the two mark question. They can also ask in the spotting. Now, but holes can be seen here. See this one that is nice. Acha. See you have seen over here this thing. Uh, uh, the uterus nearby the fallopian tube nearby the fallopian tube see an oblong mass here okay this mass is the ovary okay ovary is not tied or neither it is asked as a window question but if you can know the parts of that will help in theory see one end of ovary is towards the fallopian tube okay that is called a tubal line and this end of the ovary is towards the uterus that is called uterine end okay now see over here you can find that in the ovary there is a border that is attached to the uh, 
uh, broad ligament see from the if this is the uterus lateral border spreading from the lateral border uterus towards lateral pelvic wall this screen like structure is the broad ligament okay is the broad ligament okay so see one thing here one border ovary is attached to broad ligament suppose this is a broad ligament the ovary sticks from its on its posterior side just like this so one border ovary is attached to the broad ligament see that is the anterior border the attached border okay so remember a for a anterior border ovary is attached border and that is also mesovarian border because the part of broad ligament giving attachment to ovary is called mesovary okay so if there is one anterior border over here as you can find the opposite border is free and the posterior border okay then the two surfaces towards the uterus medial surface towards the pelvic cavity pelvic wall lateral surface so what are the parts of ovary two ends tubal and uterine end two borders anterior border attached border major and major border posterior border free border then two surfaces medial surface lateral surface but they don't have the ovary now you find one thing see between the uh, uterine end of the ovary and the lateral angle of the uterus this very short ligament is called ligament of ovary see this this is ligament of ovary that is between the uterine end of the ovary and the lateral angle of uterus very short one okay and find one thing you find here a ligament that connects see this is the ovary the uh, the tubal end both tube and the tubal end ovary are attached by a ligament known as suspensor ligament ovary that goes above to the pelvic brim the pelvic inlet okay so this is suspensor ligament ovary or infundibular pelvic ligament and this one is ligament ovary okay and you can find another thing see find this thickening over here okay this is called round ligament of uterus okay so see the arrangement at the lateral angle of uterus three things are there okay in the middle you get fallopian tube in front of that you get round ligament of uterus behind that you get ligament of ovary see this here this is the middle structure the fallopian tube behind that this is the fallopian tube in the middle okay behind that the short ligament is ligament of ovary okay in front of the fallopian tube this is the round ligament of uterus okay and remember these three are the contents of the broad ligament if they tie the broad ligament they usually ask what are the contents three you know this fingers fallopian tube round ligament of uterus and ligament of ovary in addition to that you can write uterine artery ovarian artery they are also the contents rest you can read in book but this five you should never forget if the if the uterus is a window question they are definitely going to ask for broad ligament and its contents okay contents five you never forget to have a course first is this three any three of them any one of them is a content fallopian tube round ligament of uterus and ligament of ovary apart from that uterine artery ovarian artery this five you never forget at the content of broad ligament so broad ligament can't take care yeah yeah try karenge theek hai see see it see over here this is lateral border of uterus this is lateral pelvic wall spanning between the two like a screen or a curtain this one is your broad ligament okay this is the broad ligament okay and see you must have heard things like mitral sulfing i can show this arrangement in a better way see this some kind of ha Plastic. It is very clear here. See how nice the ovary is present here. Okay, this this oblong mass ovary. Okay, and nearby that you can find this thing. See, this is the fimbria of the fallopian tube. Okay, so this is fallopian tube which is fimbria. Okay, and you can find here. See in the ovary, this end, this end of the uterine end, and this is ligament of ovary. A bit longer here. Okay. and this is the tubal end and from that arising this is the suspensor ligament of ovary so this is the attached border you can find it clearly okay this is attached border and this is the free border okay. and you can also likewise know the medial surface or the lateral surface so the ovary is quite clear here okay now the in the female pelvis part they can tie mostly the urinary bladder uterus fallopian tube broad ligament or they can tie uh, so as major if available they can tie in female ovary or that artery the three arteries they can tie common ilia external ilia internal ilia so what is window in the female pelvis most important uterus sometimes fallopian tube can be full window fallopian tube can be full window so for the window if are preparing uh, for abdomen what will be viscera have a rough idea about development some important anomalies and the histology they can ask that there or all in the window even they can ask Okay. And uh, apart from that, what else is asked? I don't know. But uh, just just as know something for your knowledge, major salpings may not be always asked in the exam. But if we can uh, delineate that, how see? 
see this is the hello pen tube you can find okay and see this is the opening ligament of ovary mark one thing mark these two things separately one end is the ovary and ligament of ovary okay and the other end is hello pen tube spanning between two this membrane is mesosalpex clear see this is ovary this is ligament of ovary this is the fallopian tube okay spanning between ovary and ligament ovary at one end and the fallopian tube at the other this small segment is your mesosalpex hold that suspends the tube we can also find that here more easily see uh, this is the fallopian tube obviously okay and over here you can find the ovary and the ligament of ovary spanning between the two that is this thing that is looking black here is the mesosalpex okay so the purpose of telling you all this is how you write the uh, short note on broad ligament first if you write the short note broad ligament first thing what is it peritoneal fold that connects lateral border of uterus with the lateral pelvic wall then what are the contents high view no? that i told in addition to that you can write paru for nepo for written book what are they okay you can add some fat here next thing is c i told you the contents so there is a heading there known as the parts of broad ligament okay see uh, first thing you are seeing here the suspensory ligament of ovary okay you are seeing uh, here the mesosalpex okay then at the upper end of the broad ligament just below that this entire tissue is called mesometrium so this is the broad ligament cotton like thing at this upper end there is fallopian tube between the fallopian tube and the pelvic floor this is this tissue is called mesometrium so these things the suspensory ligament of ovary then the mesometrium then uh, then you this thing the mesosalpex these are all parts of broad ligament okay but these three things fallopian tube raoul ligament of uterus and ligament of ovary are common Okay. Thank you sir.